What's up YouTube? For tonight's video, we have a full Valentine's Day team. Okay, so this is probably, a, I know I'm a little bit late on this team. It was meant to come out before, but I was a little bit busy. Alright, so Kath come up with some interesting Pokemon and nicknames for this team. I've got two battles for you tonight, so um, I, I, I always try and spoil you people. Leave those theme team suggestions as usual in the comment section below. Any feedback on the video would be awesome there too. If you're loving these uh, double battles, hit that like button. Alright, let's get going. This one is on my pimp chat. If you want to battle me, that is in the description of the video and on the screen. Uh, pimp Night Pokemon chat. Anyone uh, can come there. Alright, this battle was against Joe from my chat. So, I'm leaning with uh, Love This, which is uh, pretty appropriate for this theme. Okay, so I'm going to give the uh, Drifloom a smooch to start things off. I'm going to get knocked off by it, which was interesting there. Okay, so uh, the Drifloom is going to be confused here, and it's going to get past the confusion and use knockoff on my Love Disc again, which had Focus Band. I, I tried to use a really troll set. Okay, so I've got Rain Dance on this. I've got Swift Swim Ability too, which is going to able to uh, double my speed in the rain. It's also going to power up my Hydro Pump too. Now, Drifloom is going to actually swap out here. Uh, Oricorio is going to swap in, which is good. It's like, this is good. Um, the Hydro Pump is going to hit it really hard. It misses, so that... That really, that miss really, really did count there. So obviously I'm going to outspeed here in the rain again. It almost one shot to there. So uh, that first Hydro Pump did make a, a big difference there. And the Love This is going to go down there, unfortunately, there. So a bit of an um, unlucky start there, but not too bad. At least I got to see two of the Pokemon. All right, so Orikoro is nearly down anyway. Bringing Alola Momola in here. Now I'm running a, a physical Alola Momola, which is pretty fun. I'm going to have fun saying this Pokemon's name the whole uh, battle there. So I'm going to Aqua Jet there in the rain, and that's going to take it out nicely. All right, so we have Drifloom coming in here again. Now I think it might have something like Thunderbolt uh, as well. It could be a mix set, but it's going to use Knock Off, so I'm cool with that. It doesn't knock anything off because I'm actually holding a uh, Z Crystal. Yes, I'm actually using a Z Crystal this time. Um, I haven't used them a lot of the battles because I didn't really want to, but I'm going to start using them just for some really uh, troll sets. Okay, so I'm going to go for the Waterfall here. This thing's going to hit like super hard, but I'm going to get Destiny Bonded, and that's going to take out my Alola Mamola as well there. Um, so that kind of sucked. I thought there was a chance it could be a mixed attacker. I did know that Destiny Bond was uh, an option there. There was... I was kind of in a 50-50 mind there. Anyways, it's down. That was uh, that was the main thing. So bringing my Swoobat in here, I've got a very interesting set here. I've got a Substitute uh, Physical set. Now, uh, Swoobat gets a simple ability, which uh, basically doubles any stat boost that it gets. So since it doesn't have any way of boosting its attack, the only way for me to do that would be giving it a Leechy Berry. So I've got, I'm just going to make it sub down into its Leechy Berry. Um, obviously, I've given it max speed there so I can go first, and I've given it max attack. However, I've also got some moves on. I've got Acrobatics too, which is going to hit at um, you know, double its base power when my Leechy Bearer has been eaten. I've got Heart Stamp too for this theme, and it's got a Flinch Chance, which is pretty cool. And I gave it Knock Off too, just if I come across any really bulky, annoying Everlight Pokemon, and just to scout a couple of items out there too. Okay, so this Froggity is just continually attacking me here with the Dark Pulse, and that's going to uh, get rid of my sub there. Okay, so I need one more... Um, why, why is my my phone? I had my phone on. And it was like detecting what I was saying, and it, it like I said something about Pokemon, and it, the Google search came out was Pokemon. <laughs> anyways, that that's I didn't even know I could do that. Anyway, so I'm gonna go for the substitute again. They're gonna actually swap there into uh, Buffalant. There, I've got my final substitute up, living on two health. Now I can go for the Acrobatics here. This hits really hard after the Leechy, uh, leechy Berry there. Almost uh, takes it out there, but a little bit off there. About three quarters damage. Uh, Bufalant's going to go for the Pursuit there. Um, I definitely wasn't going to swap there with the sub up. I guess that's the only, maybe the only attack that it could do against me, or I don't know. Anyway, so going for the Acrobatics there is going to take the Bufalant out. So that was good. Bearing that Pokemon. It's very, very bulky, and it hits like a truck. It nearly is a truck. All right, so Floatail's going to come in here. I knew this thing was probably going to outspeed me, so there's not much, really much point swapping. I nearly, I thought, it, I did think about swapping, but I didn't really want anyone swapping into that. So uh, we all know that crit mattered, and uh, that's my swooper out of here. So uh, three Pokemon down on each side, so I'm going to bring out the uh, <clears throat> my condom here. So I'm going to get Ice Punch again. This is a bulky Everlight Zap Cannon set. It does have a couple other moves, but I wanted to use Zap Cannon because my luck with it lately has been absolutely incredible. Um, but that wasn't really incredible either. Okay, so Raichu's going to come in expecting to get that Lightning Rod. No thank you. I'm going to go for the Gudrain on the swap there. I got a nice little crit there that's going to get all my health back, which is good. Okay, so thinking, uh, what should I do here? Should I just go for Giga Drain again? Uh, Raichu is going to go for the Nasty Pot, so that's bad. I am Everlight though. I know I can take whatever hit it throws me, but it's going to really, really hurt. 
Okay, so another Giga Drain there. I know the next is going to take it out. It can't substitute or anything. It's going to go for the Focus Miss here, which actually does hit me. Uh, that does a crap ton of damage to me. Uh, but since I'm so bulky, I'm going to be able to take the Raichu out, get a little bit of health back there uh, for recovery as well. So uh, Electric is really, really nice here, and that's going to take Raichu out. So awesome. I, 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 I've used this Pokemon a lot of times. It's, it's very, very um, reliable too. Uh, Levitate makes it really nice too. Okay, so uh, Floatil is going to come in here. I think it could be Choice Banded. Um, I'm going to leave that one, and I'm going to take it out nearly with the Giga Drain there, getting a lot of damage there, which is awesome. Recovering my health here. Now, the only thing I was worried about here was getting flinched by Waterfall. I knew that I could tank the second one just really badly, which I do, taking it out with a Giga Drain again, and that's Float Seal down. So excellent job there, getting rid of a lot of those threats to my team. Um, like The last couple of Pokemon wouldn't have dealt with that so well, so I was very happy getting rid of that. Okay, so we have Frogadier coming back, the last Pokemon on their team. Now, I knew there wasn't going to be as much hope for me to live this one. I was on very low health, and that's going to be able to take me out. But Electric uh, did its job very nicely there. Okay, so I've got two Pokemon remaining there. I can see it's Life Orb, too. So I thought, well, let's swap in Jinx here. Um, it can't use any Water-type moves on me. I know that's got Dark Pulse. Uh, let's make it hit itself for a little bit more damage. It's going to go for the Protein uh, Dark Pulse and outspeed me there. That was a physical Jinx. I do get to show you that one a little bit uh, later on in this uh, the next battle and uh, maybe a bit in the bloopers too. So just watch out for that one. All right, so bring in my last Pokemon, which was Floatet, which is a pretty uh, cool set here. Now I've got Wish on this. I've got Misty Terrain. I've got Nature Power and I've got Petal Dance. Now Misty Terrain up will turn it into Moonblast. Not only that, uh, my... My pet, sorry, my pedal dance. I'll never ever get confused using that under the misty terrain, which is pretty cool. Um, a bulky special defensive set here uh, with Everlight, so it's uh, very very bulky. Okay, so I'm going to hit by the ice beam there, going for the uh, pedal dance here. I know Frogadier is not exactly bulky, so that should be enough to take it out, which it is. And that is the first game there, brilliant first battle uh, to start things off. All right, second battle. This one's against Lucy on my chat. Now she actually uh, had a like a Valentine's team as well. So that was really cool. We both had a Valentine's team. I did say in the chat that I'm going to be using that. If anyone does have one, that'd be cool if they used it. So here we are. All right, so we have Smoochum. Very good to see Smoochum here. Um, using a Psychic right off the bat there. Going for the Sweet Kiss here. I've used uh, two Kissing Moves right off the uh, bat in both battles. All right, so I've got the Confusion up on the Smoochum there. I don't really want to get hit by another Psychic. Uh, now, the uh, Smoochum is going to hit itself in Confusion here, which is good, because that would have been my love this down very early on in the game. So, as at the last time, I went for the uh, Rain Dance here, and that's going to double my speed, plus power up my Hydro Pump there. Now, I've got a Tract on this too, because just for the... More for the theme, I'd probably have Ice Beam on it normally for a little bit more coverage, or maybe HP Grass. But I kept it on there for this one. All right, so Butterfree is going to come in here. I've, uh, guys, I've got a couple of butterflies at the moment. Um, so I'm going to hit it with the Hydro Pump there. It tanks it really nicely. It's like a special defensive Butterfree, which is really cool. I like that. Um, so hoping that I can land these next Hydro Pumps. Um, I think it's going to be able to take me out. I'd say with a bulky set too, it would have something like Roost on it uh, for recovery. All right, so it's going to pop a uh, Toxic on me there. I'm not really sure what its other moves were. I know that it can have Giga Drain or any flying type move. It could have something like Silver Wind too, like a boosting. That'd be something I'd do, like some scumbag boosting Silver Wind set. Anyways, I've got the Toxic on there. I need to take this thing out. Hoping I can land those three Hydro Pumps in the rain, which I do. So that was very, very lucky there. I hit all three in the rain. That's going to be enough to take out the Butterfree there. So I'm getting very nice uh, Hydro Pump luck there, taking the Butterfree out. All right, so I've still got the rain up, which is good. I can fire off some Hydro Pumps. Now she's going to send out her love disc. I'm like, hmm, this could be a speed tie. And uh, that's I'm going to get out sped, and the Hydro Pump is going to uh, take me out there. So that's cool. Uh, that, that's that's Karma. I hit three in a row. I'm, I'm happy with that one. So uh, my love disc uh, goes down. Now, oh, I can see it's got the... Uh, the life orb there too. Now the rain stops, which is good, so the love disc won't outspeed me um, too much. So uh, bring in the uh, big love disc now, and she's actually going to withdraw her love disc and bring out the Roselia. Now I do have, I actually do have a counter for this. I was going to use Fly MZ, but instead I used uh, Wake Up Slap. Uh, Fidium, uh, Fidium Z. So this was hilarious. Um, so it actually gets a physical uh, move, which is uh, Wake Up Slap there, which uh, hits for double damage if the opponent is asleep. I basically just used it so I could have some like a fighting move on here. Like no one would ever expect it. I got some hilarious kills with it too. Okay, so unfortunately Ro uh, Ro Roselli is going to be able to absorb that one. It's not very effective. Um, there. I actually have Bounce for Roselia too, but I didn't really want to reveal that this close in the game. Alright, so bringing in 
my Electric again. And uh, I'm going to get hit by the C-Bomb here. So it's a physical set that hits pretty hard, actually, considering I've got Everlight. But it is a critical hit. Now, on this set, I've, I've said I've got Zap Cannon on this. I've got Giga Drain. Um, I'm trying to remember what the other moves I had on it. This line learned so many moves. Okay, so it's got Acid. Um, it's got that, which drops the... Uh, with special defense uh, two stages. So I can use acid spray, then attack afterwards. So it's kind of like I don't have to boost up my special attack. Or I can cause a swap, one of those two things. All right, so I'm gonna get, I thought I'd leave that one, but I get critical hitted there. Um, it would have been very, very close anyway. I, I definitely would have fainted the next turn. I did have, uh, I think I was gonna go for like flash cannon or something like that. Anyways, um, bringing in my jinx here. This is a physical jinx, which I got to use in this battle, which was uh, pretty fun. Now we have uh, the uh, Swirlix here coming in here, which is, uh, I like that, um, Chocolates, that's a good name for it. I'm going to stamp, uh, heart stamp this. Now, the idea was this to scumbag flinch as many Pokemon as I could. I've got Meditate on this one to boost my attack as well. I've got Ice Punch as well on heart stamp, so that's some good coverage there. Alright, so I'm going to hit by the Toxic here. This is definitely a Everlight set, very, very bulky, so I need to get rid of this Everlight. That was my main thing here. Now, I hadn't revealed that I had... Knock off. I hadn't revealed this Pokemon at all. So I was hoping uh, the Swellix would stay in so I could get rid of the Everlight. Plus, you really wouldn't expect a physical Swoobat, uh, unless you're playing against me, of course, uh, coming uh, to take the Everlight off there. So I avoid the play rough, which is good. I'm not super bulky anyway, so I was uh, quite glad to get rid of that one. Now, I'm going to go for the Heart Step here. I probably should have gone for the Substitute, but I wanted to get some Scumbag Flinch here. It doesn't happen. I'm going to get hit by the play rough. So that does quite a lot of damage to me there. I've also got the toxic happening there. So if I go for the substitute now, I'm going to die. So I probably should have... Okay, I probably should have substituted before, but I went. For, I wanted to go for the fun option and try and get the flinch. Okay, so I don't get the flinch again. I'm like, oh, damn it. I was hoping the poison would take me down enough to activate the leechy berry. Then I could go for acrobatics to take it out. But that didn't work. That's how it was. Okay, so bringing in my Aloma Mola 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 again. That name really... Uh, and that name really... Wait, when it first came out, right, I couldn't even say it. Then again, I can't say most Pokemon names. Anyways, uh, so I get the flinch with the waterfall there, which is good. I'd say it wouldn't have been able to do much apart from Toxic Me. Um, that's I'd, I'd say that's a move uh, she was going for, but I'm not sure. Maybe a Wish or something like that. Not that would have recovered any anything. I'd say Toxic would have been the best bet there. Okay, so um, the Smoochum is going to use the Grass Knot there, which is nice. I like Grass Knot's animation. That's cool. Um, does, like, half health to me. My, listen... There. My phone just my phone is continually like searching stuff up on me close. Okay, so I'm gonna take out the uh, Swirlix there, which is good Now we have the uh, Roselia coming back in here now. I do have bounce on this set I wanted I mainly wanted to use uh, fly MZ with bounce so I could activate that right away So we didn't have to wait the two turn thing. That was my whole thing or when grass types think they can get a free swapping on like a, a water type move That was what I was gonna do as well Okay, so I've got my flow tet here Gonna get hit by the poison jab here. Does lots of damage there, unfortunately. I'm not too defensive. Now, I set up in the misty terrain here. I, I probably could have gone for try attack there to uh, get some sort of hacks, but um, I didn't. I, I thought I could tank maybe a little bit better than that. Now, she actually uh, withdraws her Roselia and brings in her Love Disc, which was good because I was able to get a, uh, a Moon Blast off on the Love Disc here. Now, I wasn't sure. Um, I actually wasn't sure on this point why she did that, but it, it did become clear to me um, afterwards. All right, so the Love Disc is going to use the Ice Beam here. That's not going to be enough to uh, actually take me out there. It's, it's going to take itself out with the Life Orb there, and I'm just going to hang on with like a little bit of health there. I went for Petal Dance there uh, just in case um, I had some sort of like, I don't know, had like Sweet Kiss or something. Uh, not that would have actually, that wouldn't have affected me at all because I'm in Misty Train. I'm not sure what it would have done other than that. Okay, so going for the Leaf Torm again on the Carbic. Now, um, since Carbic is such a good swap in for this, I can't really do too much. There's going to be a physical set with Sharp in there, which is really cool. I like that. Now it's going to go. Um, I was thinking, what could it do? It could it do some sort of steel type move for me? I went for Pedal Dance. I'm out speeding anyway. It's going to go for the Rock Slide and take my Floatet out, which is fine there. So that would have been. It would have been hard to set that up with my Aloma Mola on the field as well. So I understand the swap there before. That's how, that's how I thought it anyway. All right, so bringing in the Jinx here. Now, this this was very salty. Okay, so I'm going to go for the heart stamp here to start things off with. Uh, so I kiss that carbink, kiss those diamonds, kiss that diamond ring. Okay, so I, it flinches, which is good. Now I thought, well, let's be a let's be a real scumbag, a Valentine's Day scumbag, and go for the uh, sweet kiss here and confuse this carbink because it's already got a boost in attack. 
if it hits itself, it's going to be, come very close to taking it out. So it does hit itself. It just lives on like nothing, basically. Why does that, like that, why does that always happen? Anyway, so I thought, let's go for the Meditate here since my attack isn't you know, the greatest in the world. I want to be able to get that Ice Punch happening on the Rosalia afterwards. Now the Carbig is going to get through, and of course it's got Explosion, and I'm so triggered and salty, and that's going to be enough to take me out with the normal gem there. So I was like, yep, bye-bye, Jinx. You're not going to live that one. And that's Jinx down. My God. Damn it. I'm not salty at all. Very nice uh, there on the Carbig. I like I like. That's probably the favorite, most favorite set on this team I've seen so far. Okay, and the Butterfree too. That was cool. All right, so bringing out my last Pokemon, Aloha Mola. Now, I've got Bounce on this set. I knew that I could take a C-Bomb, even if it was a crit there. I'm going to get hit pretty hard by that one. I'm using a sweeping set. That's why it's doing so much damage. Um, I've got max health and max attack on this one. So going for the big bounce there. Now, the only thing I was worried about, if this would miss. So Roselia is going to use a Sword Dance. Obviously, I'm in the air. It can't attack me. So that's the best play uh, there. So if it did live, um, I did have Acrodred after this in case it lived on a little bit of health. But it's enough to take it out. And that's the battle. Great game. I hope you guys enjoy these ones. Enjoy those bloopers.
this is going to be a Valentine's pun, all right? Yeah. Will you be my Valentine? Valentine. Get it? Val. Mantine. Valentine. Oh, Valmantine. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> oh!